guys, welcome back. This is Bruce. Welcome to another episode of High Voltage. Uh, today I got another operation special for you, Task Force Operations. And yeah, right now we're doing a Mambo or Mambo. It's the one for 200 Intel. And um, some of the mates already attacked. Herminator and Debilicious or newest mate uh, took down K. Uh, Herminator actually cleared the way. Uh, with tanks, a very good attack. And then um, uh, Debilicious pretty much finished the whole thing up, but um, I won't go through the whole attack <clears throat> because um, it was very solid play and I'm not a tech e tank expert and so I can't really comment on that too much. Um, yeah, Debilicious actually took it down with uh, Hooker then and it was actually a very, a very close thing. I think he lost almost all all heavies. We will see. Um, yeah, he smoked his troops up there to avoid rocket launchers. Good play. And yeah, flare him up. Pick up some free GB. And flare him up again. And yeah. Okay, what did he do then? Ah, yeah, he went into the corner and took some more free GB. Anyway, he took it down and did a good job as well as Herminator and lately our task force is pretty strong and I'm pretty happy and cool guys and a lot of fun so that's really good. Okay, he took that whole thing down to make sure that he can't be hit. Very nice. Then relocated on the top. Uh, the mine costed, cost him some sukas, but yeah, he was out of reach of the rocket launchers and out of reach of the cannons and finished the core. Very well played, sir. And yeah. Okay, by the way guys, um, I'm not 100% sure if you can hear it, but the audio quality is still not um, not very much improved because I ordered um, a microphone from Amazon and it turned out to be totally useless and the audio quality was even worse than on the mobile phone. So I returned it and tomorrow I will go to a music store and we'll uh, check the microphones there and then hopefully on the weekend I can bring you some more um, videos with improved audio quality. So we'll now boost some statues for the operations attack. I will go with the masterpieces of course and today I will, I think I will also boost both um, both GBE guardians um, because I uh, plan to clean my map afterwards and I figured if I use three power potters or five makes no difference and so I prefer to go with five and you know uh, take uh, fewer casualties and stuff like that so yeah all troops are loaded up so we are pretty much good to go um, let's scout the map we already saw how the guys took down K and I will now attempt to clear ballast I'm not 100% sure if that is possible um, but hopefully I can clear a good path for my mates and we can take it down in maximum two attacks. So, um, as you can see on the right side there are two rocket launchers, <coughs> uh, sorry, two shock launchers, a lot of cannons and boom cannons and I'm not sure but I think it's not a good idea to go with the right side because there's too much that can slaughter me and those bo uh, boom cannons are really beefed up guys check out the statues it's a 144 health boost and a 40% uh, damage boost so that's pretty much um, insane boost uh, boosting there and so I think I will attempt to go over the left and my plan is to flare in the um, left corner and then take out the two sniper towers on the left uh, then go further up in the far left corner and take some free gumball energy. Um, then smoke my way um, around the boom cannons up into that corner here, uh, up here, that corner here. And from there I will uh, try to approach the core. And there are a few obstacles I have to take care of. Um, these obstacles are definitely the two rocket launchers on top and the rocket launcher to the left of the core. I really want to take them down and furthermore I want to make sure that I got enough shocks when I approach the core so that I can shock that boom cannon, um, boom cannon mortar combo there 
and also shock the boom cannon, the flamethrower and that stuff on left. Um, or at least uh, I want to be able to shock it if it becomes necessary. So yeah. <clears throat> um, the three rocket launchers in the middle, I guess they won't pose a problem because they can't reach up um, up to the to the part behind the core. And yeah, I will just need to smoke my way around the boom cannons up here because the rocket launchers will be able to reach that corner. So we'll probably need four, four smokes there and should be fine. So I think guys, I'm boosted up. I will attack now and hopefully that thing goes through. Uh, I will need to hurry up um, once again because time is a very sensitive issue here. So let's attack. First thing I want to do is take out that nasty rocket launcher here. I will do that with a barrage. And one, two, three, four artillery shells, hopefully. Will it be enough? Yes, very nice. That thing went on very fast. And then I will toss two barrages on the rocket launchers on the top. And also toss two artillery shells. And meanwhile, I will launch my attack. I will land the heavies first and flare them up over there. And use them pretty much as a mute shield to um, protect the sukas from the um, the sukas from the mortars. And I think nah, the mortar didn't hit me. Now again a flare up there and uh, take down the sniper towers. Meanwhile, I will check if that thing went down. No, it didn't. One more artillery shell, hopefully. Please, please, please. Nah. We need, a, we need another one. So we'll do that right now and then go back to my troops and hope that they don't mess things up there, but they, they already do. They already do. I should have watched them more carefully. But I should be fine. Time is at 2.45 now. So time will definitely be a sensitive issue. I need to pick up gunboard energy on the way, guys. I have only five gunboard energy left. And I need shocks. I have 2 minutes 30. I want to be uh, behind the core at 1 minute 30 so that I have enough time to take that thing down. So yeah, pick up all the gunboard energy, guys. Hurry up. I still have a lot of sukas. I only lost one suka so far and one heavy so far. So my whole army is pretty much intact and good to go. As soon as I've got all the gunboard energy, I will start to flare them up there and then go from there. Now I can flare them up. Let's go guys. And now a lot of smogs to make sure that my troops won't, won't get hit. One more snow, smoke for the Sukas. Guys, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So I just ran out of flares, which is very unfortunate. I will now need to pick up um, some gunboat energy from those nasty boom cannons, which is very, very not good. Now I will be able to flare them up there. Guys, hurry up, hurry up. We are at 1 minute 23 already. That thing is not looking as good as I planned to. And also I flared way too much over there and now I don't have any gunboat energy left. This flare was too far um, up to the left corner. That was not good. Guys, please hurry up. Please hurry up. So actually I am getting into very good position right now. The heavies will clear the mines. Yes, they did. A few sukas got lost. Now the, the artillery is starting to shoot at me. I really need a, um, a shock as fast as possible now. Uh, there we go. Now we'll shock that whole area over here, which went very well. Nice. It's only a few more seconds. Damn it, guys. We have to hurry up. I might have to rush the core. I might have to rush the core right now. And hopefully that thing goes down as fast as possible. Only the cannons can hit me now. Will it be enough, guys? Will it be enough? I will toss in completely unnecessary mad kit, which actually <laughs> it missed the one Suka that was still standing. I'm not 100% positive, but I think it's going down, guys. It's going down. Ballast is going down. That attack went very well. Hurry up, guys. Hurry up. Yes. Yes, 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 guy. This, guys, this perfect, uh, this attack was 
was conducted perfectly like special op style like precisely cutting into it like super tactical high skilled gameplay right fucking there guys super nice very nice i'm very pleased with my performance today so return and load up the troops and now we will wait for the other guys to finish the operation and i will this time um, provide you with the replays i can promise you that right now and so we'll stop here and then continue recording uh, see you in a second guys hey guys welcome back uh, now we finished the operation and we can go through the replays and actually um the operation attack i showed you before was from like i think two or three um operations ago now there we go Mem mambo was the the last one we did yep that one was the one where i destroyed ballast uh, ballast okay um then there came commodore and we had some problems with commodore as um we weren't entirely sure how to approach it because it was the first time that we faced it and so yeah um the guys um pretty much um yeah they pretty much uh, we had a big struggle going on there because we didn't have the really you know the really optimal strategy and first uh we tried the solo run with warriors and but the thing is as you can see it takes two barrages and uh, one artillery to get uh, rid of the mines and then already three smokes to the machine gun another two smokes three smokes to the shock launchers another one two three four to the cannons and now um he ran out of shocks obviously because i mean you can't have infinite uh, gbe so um this was a problem and uh, we should have you know planned it a little bit differently and yeah so pretty much it uh, went down um like uh, what happened then why why did it jump to the new operation i don't know why okay yeah then um the next mate went for um went for commodore and i think he went over the left and collected a lot of nah he went from uh, the front right with tanks and yeah the problem was um it was the first time that we faced commodore and you know in my personal opinion commodore is um is a is a true warrior map you should approach it with warriors that's my personal opinion um unfortunately my warriors are not level 18 yet they're getting close but not level 18 yet so i didn't try but yeah i think as you can see it's not wise to approach that thing with tanks because the shock launches and rocket launches are just a pain in the ass and then come the mortars and it's you know this continuous struggle then there come the cannons on top so in my personal opinion um, the next time when we do common draw one guy with fuka should go over the left you know collect all the power cells there and clear you know the mines and the cannons for the next guy because it was a very un ungrateful task for our tank players because obviously commodore is not really a tank map the core is super far in the back so it takes forever to get there and then it's surrounded by cannons so i think it's uh, safe to say that uh, commodore is no tank map and it was poor planning of us that uh, all the tank players had then to go for a commodore and that sucks obviously and next time we will arrange it a bit differently and yeah so then uh, the problem was yeah then finally Duggan our mate uh, went ahead and took it down after Medina attacked too so it took us like one two three four five attacks to get down Commodore which is obviously way too much so maybe Kali 007 has um, ideas okay yeah and then um, the problem was that yeah then Dan our mate from China attacked Paradox and the problem was that we lacked one attack because one of the guys uh, wasn't available and so we couldn't finish the operation what which was actually really unfortunate but then again the rewards were still juicy and we're still on good way to the leaderboard so yeah anyway i won't show that tank attack because it's it's a super solid attack but uh, nothing special or anything so anyway we uh, then went ahead and uh, you know did another member 
and yeah this time um, I went ahead and went for conveyor <clears throat> which actually went pretty well but it's a super straightforward map um, I, uh, I sh threw artillery shells on the rocket launchers I think in total six artillery shells and already took down four rocket launchers which was very nice yeah and then I wasn't 100% sure how to approach the boom mines but I decided to take down one boom mine with an um, okay I barraged the shock launcher I already forgot that yeah um, and now I landed the troops the thing with the heavies on the right is I, I want to land the heavies on the right so that they can you know give me protection against rocket launchers but that wasn't uh, necessary at all for some reason I was under the impression that there were some more rocket launchers on the right when I was landing but anyway I went ahead shocked that whole thing you know and um, cannons are you know they deal a lot of damage but, uh, but for hookah with shocks cannons are not the biggest problem and yeah it's pretty straightforward attack luckily all the rocket launchers were gone um, I relocated one more time to the left, you know, to safely barrage that area and get a better angle when I approach the core. Um, toss a smoke to protect the heavies while I'm taking down the flamethrowers. And yeah, then it was pretty standard, you know. Um, now the rocket launcher started to turn and I had to make sure that I do as much damage as possible. And I mean, look at all the all the sukos behind the core. So many sukos, that's so massive damage, you know. And the core, I think it had a health of about 5k, uh, 500k or something, and it just went down in seconds with all those sukers. So the sukers are actually insane. And once again, hooker proves to be one of the best troop combos for operations. And um, I'm pretty certain that I'm also able to take uh, take down um, the maps on the 225 Intel missions. And yeah, um, my barrages are not even maxed yet, my landing boats are not maxed yet, and my hookahs are not maxed yet. So yeah, it's pretty much, um, there's still potential um, uh, up and I can do even more. And yeah, let's get back to the operation and check what was happening behind uh, after that. Yeah, then Medina did another really great attack on Axel and he's a tank player and by the way he got his own channel and I, I advise you to check out his tank videos because then he explains the stuff that is happening and as you all know I really have no idea about tanks you know so um, then um, two mates attacked uh, breakwater um, breakwater is a pretty easy map for tanks as it is, um, as it is um, beachfront and as I mentioned before beachfront uh, maps are super easy for tanks because you don't have the problem with you know traveling around the whole map running out of time and all that stuff just get your tanks into position and wreck the core and Chen is a super solid player and he always gets the job done so that, uh, that is pretty nice and yeah he then took down break for nothing special about, uh, about that so yeah um, what was really interesting um, I don't know actually yeah we struggled again with Mercury um, this is due to the fact that we have too many tank players and you know there's so many cannons and that's the problem right now because we have to come up with a different strategy next time <clears throat> because for a tank player it is almost impossible to approach the core I mean we got one more attack and it is possible to take down the operation but you know again um, we spent like I think one two three four four attacks in total five attacks in Mercury and it's not sure that it's not going uh, that it's going down so um, yeah that's the thing is um, uh, we have 10 members now and we have to find that balance with Fuka players, Warrior players and tank players um, yeah to get that thing done and you know the problem also there is check the building building boost um, yeah it's like I think where, where are the statues this one statue 198 and maybe there we go 57 so you know all those PCs they are super deadly they are one shotting everything they have a super far reach and yeah that's the thing um, aligning the resources in the most efficient and also most effective way is the key here and this takes a little bit of time you know to develop that feeling of a team and to get to know that the players and really know their capabilities and then to optimally align all those you know skills um, to push it to the maximum and I'm pretty sure that um, we will be able to do the uh, 225 soon 
and um, I don't know, but maybe even the 250 as soon as um, uh, the whole team has progressed a little bit more because we are all on the uh, verge to maxing out um, one troop combo or already maxed out one troop combo and are on the verge to maxing out the second troop combo and as soon as that is the case, I guess there will so much uh, be so much more flexibility in the team, um, which is very nice. And at that point I also want to give a shout out to my mates um, uh, yeah, basically to everyone of the team, it's super cool, um, it's going very well, the guys are collecting a lot of intel, they're doing a good job, we're having a lot of fun and yeah, I'm pretty happy with the task force and once again, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, I'm really sorry that it took a little bit to make that video but as explained before, I'm working on the technical side right now and I have this, you know, um, I really want to bring you quality and I feel, I don't feel good if I bring you shitty videos. So um, bear with me, give me a little bit of room for error, uh, trial and error. And yeah, um, I will soon bring the next video. <clears throat> I will bring on a Saturday, I will bring a Dr. Terror run and I will bring another operations video on the weekend and maybe I will bring a pushing metal video on the weekend as I am on good way to the German top 50 and yeah I am approaching them, approaching them in fast steps and should be there soon so that might be an interesting video too right uh, now I am ranked 64 so not too bad anyway that will come too and I hope you have a good week, you enjoyed that video, see you soon guys, boom on, peace out, subscribe and yeah, cheers.